Hi there, LinkedIn family. Jonathan here from Some Talented People. So today's book uh, recommendation is The Courage to Be Disliked. Now, I'll be doing a couple more posts because this is taken from the work of a uh, psychologist, a contemporary of Freud and Jung called Alfred Adler. And basically, um, there's a word they use in the book that I've not heard pronounced, so I'm not even going to try and say it, but essentially most psychological interventions say that, oh, this happened to you, and therefore that's why you are the way you are. And it's kind of a, uh, a free pass for or from taking responsibility for your own behaviors and actions. And so The Courage to be Disliked, and there's another book called The Courage to be Liked, uh, or The Courage to be Happy, I beg your pardon, and they're both written in a narrative form between a student and a professor. So that rather than being a dry um, psychological book, what they are is they're kind of, I found it quite funny because the uh, the student in these uh, stories is, as you'd expect students to be, questioning, unsure, uncertain, somewhat dismissive. And uh, as, the, as the book goes through, it reveals all sorts of aspects about how to release yourself from the limits and the expectations that society puts on us by taking control of your own internal psychology. So, for example, you don't have to always help someone else. Now, obviously, helping people is a good thing to do, but if you feel pressurized, if you feel duty bound, then what happens is that you have a negative experience. Sure, the person may well be helped, but ultimately you are going to be the one that suffers. So I found uh, both these books, so The Courage to Be Disliked and The Courage to Be Happy, very, very um, fun to read. And it released in me the idea that you can be happy. So the basic premise of, of Alfred Adler is simply this, that sure, things happen all things happen to us and if you take a buddhist perspective then we are living in the conditioned realm so this is the realm in which our bodies and our minds are subjected to conditions whatever they may be the reality is that it is not what happens to you which determines your internal state the thing that determines your internal state is how you respond to the things you are being told and read this book because it will allow you to understand that you know what i don't have to do everything i don't have to blame some event on the way i am now i can take responsibility for it and hence the title the courage to be disliked it's not really about being disliked it's just about being authentic so uh put a cover shot at the end of this uh, little clip uh recommend the book very very interesting read i laughed out loud uh to quite a lot of it actually but then uh, i like to have my psychology challenge so that might be a personal thing anyway uh read the book it's fantastic have a nice day and i will see you again